Okay, we have transported into this world. So what's this place? Looks like a lake forest, and there's a look from a distance. This seems like a nice place for camping. It does. Come to think of it, we should do that after our battle with the blue team. I agree. We should tell our teammates about this place. I'm sure they'll like it here. What on Sam Hill was that? Sounds like a bomb went off. Whatever what's going on, there must be a battle. And I have a feeling we need to put a stop to this, because I don't think some people can defend themselves. You're right, that's the worst thing that can happen. Let's go stop, let's go. Who's causing fire? Play on! Hulkamania running room. Come in fast to face with this guy here from Bud. I'll admit that's too much for the holster. So Hulkamania has written a life away from that thing. This is so funny. Watching these foolish people running away scared from me. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? At first, if I thought fireflies or in my speech be the five things, I'd have seen that this is the best darn thing I've seen ever. I didn't catch most of what Kubot said, but I will agree with that. I'm happy to hear that. Now that the town is now deserted, we'll use it for our new base. Robots, choose a building for your resting quarters, and stand by for my upcoming plan. Confirm, Lordship. There's several hotel buildings. Which one's the best one? How about Trollin? Scanning hotel right now. This one is acceptable. We're using this hotel now. Good show, Scratch. How do you know this hotel? One time a couple of chefs kidnapped me phone it was a real chicken. They were going to roast me for some bug like at this hot. Then one chef realized and said, F***ing hell, this chicken's robotic. How the f*** do you not know that? I'll have a word with you dumpters in a minute. As for your robot chicken, can they cluck off, please? That chef was sad, which explains why the potluck was ruined. Mo like followed up, huh? Right! Wow, that's a pretty damn robot we might never see. You're right, whoever did that is one hell of a creator. Guys, we should call a spy for this. Good idea! There's no way we can beat those army of robots! Only the spy sapper will do the trick! I've got the cell phone. Be right back. I'm making the call right now. A few minutes later... Spy, got to see your hoping us at the moment! Yes, indeed. Engineer told me what's going on right now. And he said only my sapper will take down the robot army. So, where are the robots hiding? They're on the Holiday Inn Hotel! Really? Robots don't sleep. Is this bizarre world or am I missing something? None of the above. Let's get the sap and started. Right? I'll go first. And be very quiet when we sneak into that hotel because those robots have quite a sensor when they hear loud noises! Why? They I hear you doing that? Yeah. No kidding, rocket scientist. Now, shall we? Yes, we shall! This hall looks fancy the last time I remember I was here! Probably the hotel needed a makeover. Agreed, that's one way to make the hotel modern. I see. Well, I'll go look around to see what else is there. Be right back! Omega Enterprise Drummer. And coconuts are not with Scratch. What's the reason? Dr. Eggman ordered them to guard his secret fortress just in case Sonic and his freedom fighters go for the attack. Affirmative. Jury will do just fine. Okay, men. All clear. Nice one, Spy! That bad guy's going to be really pissed about those robots getting the malware virus! We sure will. Wait, where's the other robot?
I believe that one's a chicken robot. Here's a thing. Why the hell would someone want to create a chicken robot? What's the purpose of that? My guess is that Baguette would yell at the man and say, Hey, Stooge! My cock's bigger than yours! <laughs> Come on, Demo Man! <laughs> you know he wouldn't say that. No, but I imagine he would! I just heard some static noise! It must be the Freedom Fighters are here! Someone heard us! Let's get out of here quickly! I'll catch up with you guys! I'll take care of the robot chicken! Good luck, Paro! Now look here, Freedom Fighters! I will may not even take it by you at any rate! You here! What the heck are you supposed to be? I might make those still run! And I'm ready to fry some chicken! Sounds like that chicken's fried! Fried, roasted, baked, registered. No matter. Did I miss anything? No, not yet. We have a bad guy to deal with, and we'll show him what it feels like to be dominated. And he's going to be in one hell of a wake-up call. Let's get him. <laughs> <laughs> so, according to the map, there's a metal factory about 30 miles from where we are. Definitely a perfect place for creating more army of robots. I can't think the janitor to keep off snakes and squirt one. What the one in this? Cubot, I might catch on what you just said, but yes, it will be the best plan yet. I can't wait. Dr. Eggman, there's a problem. The robots have crashed and shut down. They have. That's right, Dr. Eggman. They're dead. <laughs> Those freedom fighters must have followed us. Unfortunately, the freedom fighters are not here. Well, whoever they are, they just committed suicide. Get my gigantic butt ready. We'll squash them like the butts they are. That one is also crashed. Do those foolish mortals have a clue who they're dealing with? I'll show them. A few minutes later. Hello there, you evil fiend. We're putting a stop of your terror at once. Is this a joke? Are you Subliman Trash really serious about what you're doing? We're damn serious. We witness on what you're doing. And your plans are about to fly right now. You have no clue who you're dealing with. Yeah, but we don't care. Well, what you should care is that I'm a master leader of my robot army. And a future emperor of the world. If anyone who dares to disobey my orders, will be executed. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny, you stinking people? You know, that's not going to happen. All of your robot army have been sapped, crushed, and shut down, and all you have to defend yourself are a pair of those robotic tinker toys. These robot tinker toys don't terrain when we're ready to fight you, are. Might I suggest you leave now and so you won't get yourself killed? Sorry that we're not weak. We're fearsome some fighting men that will give you a serious ass kicking that you remember for the rest of your life. Okay, you scummy vermins. This is now personal. A little longer than a few minutes later. Now that's the last time you tried to start trouble here. Go back whatever the hell you come from and stay there. And next time. Be nice to those people, cause nobody's going to treat you like you treat them. Remember that, you fake egg shit fat head! Well men, mission accomplished. Let's head back to the red base! Greetings humans, before you go I just want to thank you for saving the village. Your bravery has really impressed me. I was expecting the freedom fighters to come here and save the day, but it turns out a group of unknown people took care of the problem. And with that, you have my respect. Thank you, ma'am. All in the day's work. Yeah, we were here for some sightseeing. Then all of a sudden, there was a blast and some screaming coming from the tower. And thanks to this pot belly and shape, Lord Ars, it ruined our fun. Well, let me tell you this. What you said is, this is Dr. Eggman, a self-proclaimed greatest scientist and feature ruler for the whole world. He can create a massive army of robots and flying machines in order to defeat the Freedom Fighters.
Not today he did! Indeed not. Thanks to you heroes. By the way, how did you manage to take down the robots? I was using this device called the Sapper. It is a small electric generator that can hack into any types of machines. A very crafty device, don't you think? Absolutely. That is something a citizen I know that can make one like that. Whoa! We should get back to the Red Beast. Nice talking to you. You're sure you don't want me to give you a tour? Maybe next time. I'm sure this place looks nice. We'll think about it. I see. Anyway, thank you for saving the town, heroes. And if you feel like coming back into the world for a tour, I'd be happy to do that. Take good care. Earn a well-deserved rest, and I'll see you later. Any clue who she is? I don't remember from any of the Sonic the Hedgehog games. I was so about that. He has a collection of almost all Sonic games. I'm sure he'll know who she is. She seems like an ancient goddess of this town, and she seems quite friendly too. So, let's get back to the Red Base. A few moments later. Great Scott! How is it that I can lose like that? I agree with you, Doctor. There is simply no way that you, the greatest scientist that ever lived, would lose to a group of phonies who think they can take you down. Yeah! I really convinced in holidays thanks to carrying how many robots down like that. Cobot, I think I need to fix your voice chip. You have been slurring some words for about a few hours. I I you I can't. I don't know why there's a uh, Shut up! For God's sake! Or but go fix him at once! Right away, Doctor. This is the most humiliated I have ever endured. I mean, what the blaze can happen next? Sheesh! I had to ask. Who is that? I'm in. Another crazy creature I have to deal with. Go home. I'm tired. I'm done dealing with crazies who just make me more miserable. What happened? Did the freedom fighter stop you in very ways? Yes, you were. Do I really care? Now get lost before I'll blow a gasket like her here. Someone told me a group of men managed to take down on your robots with one of your weapons. Yes. That's got she from to do that. That's why right, little villain. I killed her by what I painted. You were cousin to all the town of Star and all the people who were and planning to make the best for your normal robots. I was watching the whole thing from it, no far distance that I saw a grow pop horror man put a stop to you and then just once over. And I think that this man knew what they have to do to stop you. Oh, there was a whole world gold again, gentlemen. I like to be alone. Thank you. You've just made my day even worse. Eh? Now scram, you crazy bunch of nutcases. If the next time you think about trying to run an attack of sorrows, you will get your nuts drafted, brother. I wasn't expecting that one.